However, this one still in good shape. And I started taking it apart. I've got a water crossover tube here. Uh, which is a little strange. Now on this one, I'm pretty sure that this is a 331 here because the crossover tube is made into the water pump, which is exactly what I have on my poly motor. But this is the bigger Hemi here. It's got a separate water crossover tube. I was trying to make one on my little poly motor, but uh, I'm hoping that this one will fit. So they're like $380 for an aluminum one. So I'm just hoping that this one will go on. I think it will. It looks about right. I only paid uh, 200 a piece for these motors. I don't know. I can probably sell enough parts off of this 331 here to uh, get enough money to b rebuild this uh, 354, 390. I don't know exactly what size it is, but uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing now. Is hopefully I got to if I can use that one uh, crossover tube there, it'd be worth the money I paid for both motors. Yeah, I got this crossover manifold out. That just full of dirt. Good old Texas dirt. Welcome to California. That's good enough. Now here comes the moment of truth. See if it fits. What I was doing on this poly motor was uh, made me some plates and stuff to try to weld me together a crossover tube, and I had a Chevy thermostat housing and stuff. Uh, we're gonna see if it works. Well, I'll set this up here so you guys can either see my great disappointment or my woohoo. And guess what? Crossover will fit, but it won't with my pop-off valve. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna just jerk that pop-off valve off of there. <coughs> I might be able to do something with that. If I have to, I can. Uh, I can redo this stuff and put the pop-off valve in the back, probably. I'm not really too concerned about any of that. Now it's just a matter of moving stuff around, probably. As long as it'll fit. So far it looks pretty good. Get a couple bolts. So far, so good. It looks decent. Like our peak would say, but I do have to have a pop off on it somewhere. I might be able to have that milled off and put it right there. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. I may continue to uh, to fool around with this a little bit. Uh, this is cast iron. I might be able to weld it up. 
this pop-off valve here is pretty thick. It's not gonna really work in there. I'll be into my water jacket. I can make a thin one. I still have something to do with the springs. Not sure, but at any rate, might be better to just go ahead and continue with my original plan of making a crossover tube. But anyway, gives me one more option, and uh, whatever I do, I'm going to run a blower on the other motor as well. So. Whatever I wind up doing here, I'll be the same. I wonder if I can flip it over. I flipped it over, of course it won't near work. Uh, but anyway, looks like if I use uh, you know, the spring here, I could probably get a A small spring in this area here. I've got plenty of room in this manifold here. This is you know, like at least an inch thick. I'm sure I could mill it off right to the front of the manifold here. And I could gain uh, about three eighths of an inch. This Papa valve says way in, and it's real cool and all of that. But uh, this could be machined down to an eighth of an inch. So I've got uh, probably a sixteenth in there now, and I can take a little off of this uh, this uh, water pump housing. It looks like just a small plate would fit in there as it is. If I was to take three eighths of an inch off of the off the manifold itself, that would uh, give me enough room to put an eighth of an inch plate in here and still have a little bit of blow off space and this has got enough uh, <coughs> room under here probably to just barely work my studs are clearing my my uh, cross over here. Worst comes to worst, I could uh, do away with that pop-off valve and just put a plate in there. That yeah, looks pretty decent. I don't know exactly what will happen. The blower is going to sit here flat. It's going to it's going to be sticking out here or something like this. So I may have a little fooling around to get a thermostat in there. I'm not real sure what I could do. It might be better just to go ahead and go with my original plan and just make me a, a cross over here and rather than go through all the trouble of getting that machine just for a, just for a crossover. But the good thing about it is, is now I've got a pattern and. Uh, I can uh, make more plates and have something welded up 